Hello everyone, I am Paul, your eHobby guy. In today's video we will be looking at a frequency divider circuit. In a previous video I looked at the 4017 chip which went in detail as a decade counter. We also touched on frequency division in that video. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you check it out. If you're on the desktop version of YouTube, there will be a link on the screen right now. So in this video we're going to focus on the 4017 chip used exclusively as a frequency divider and how exactly to get that done and the division multiples that go from 2 to 10. So let's jump right in. First we'll look at this circuit which will create this square wave input to the 4017 chip. It's a very simple circuit. It's using the 555 timer. There's only three components two 100k ohm resistors and one point one farad capacitor. We'll go through building this real, really quickly. It's running on five volts and pin three is the output pin. This will be tied into the 4017 clock signal input. It is this signal that we will be dividing with our 4017 chip. First we'll divide by three and then we'll switch it over quickly just to show you how easy it is to switch it over to uh, divide by 4 circuit. And so let's just take a look at the 4017 circuit before we look at the breadboard. Here is the 4017 decade counter and frequency divider. This is probably one of the most simple circuits that you'll ever have to breadboard. You've got 5 volts VCC coming in, pin 16. Pin 8 here is tied to ground. Every pin that's not being used is tied to ground. So right now the input clock signal here, pin 14, is coming from the A stable circuit. That gets tied in here. Now if you want to divide by 3, you go to the fourth output. The fourth output would be 0, 1, 2, 3. So you'll see number 3 here is tied in to the reset pin, which is pin number 15. That's it. There is no more to it. To get your output pulse, you can tie it into any one of these inputs. I'm sorry, any one of these outputs. And so let's take a look at how this looks on the breadboard. Before we take a look at the 4017 build, let's just take a quick look at the 555 A-stable circuit, square wave input circuit. It's very simple. This is all of the components that you need. There's two 100K resistors, 1.1 microfarad capacitor, some jumper wires, and of course the 555 timer chip. Let's look at it on the breadboard. And so to get started building this A-stable circuit, we'll just insert the 555 timer chip into the breadboard and then we'll put a jumper from pins 2 to pin 6 then a jumper between pins 4 and pins 8 a 100k resistor between pin 7 and pin 8 a 100k resistor between pins 7 and pin 2 tie pin 1 to ground and tie pin 8 to VCC, which is 5 volts. Put the 0.1 microfarad cap between pins between pins 1 and pin 2. And we'll plug pin 3 along jumper as our output signal. I'm also going to tie to pin 3 just a little jumper to hook my uh, my scope onto so that we can look at the output signal. Just so that we can see the output signal I also am going to put a 1k resistor to an LED so that we can see it flashing. Just a visual indicator that's a little different from the scope. So LED with the anode to the resistor, cathode to ground. Let's switch it on and see what we get. There we go. Here is the signal zoomed back, uh, just showing 
the output of the A stable circuit into the clock of the 4017 chip here. The output of the 4017 chip here is tied into my scope and so we'll look closely at uh, the input coming from the A stable circuit and the output coming from the 4017 chip. We have a 46.12 Hertz input and a 15.37 output. 46.12 divided by 15.37 uh, you can see to several places of decimal that that is divide, divided by 3 there might be some rounding errors but the division by 3 will be exact dividing by 3. Because of this jumbled mess of wires this is not going to be abundantly clear but I'm going to change this from dividing by 3 to dividing by 4 just to show you uh, how easy it is to set this up. And so first I'm going to shut my power off. Right now output number 3 is tied into reset. I'm going to unplug output number 3 and number 4 is on pin 10 so I'm going to unplug number 4 and hit plug in the reset into pin number 10 and let's remove the jumper that was tying pin number 4 to ground and we'll give it power again so here is the circuit with output number 4 which is on pin 10 tied into reset outputs number 0, 1, 2 and 3 are all open I do have an output trigger on pin on output zero um, so that I hook up my scope to it. All other outputs are tied to ground with jumpers and let's take a look at the scope. We should now be dividing by four. And of course there it is. The input frequency is fluctuating a little bit 46.29 and um, the output frequency is 11.52 Uh, there it is. Uh, there's some rounding error, but now we are dividing the frequency by 4. So in quick review, here is the 555 timer chip wired up as an A-stable circuit, giving us a square wave input to the 4017 frequency divider circuit. Here is the 4017 frequency divider circuit. All outputs are tied to ground except for those for which you want to divide. For example, if you want to divide by 4, you go to output number 4, which is the fifth output, because the outputs begin at 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3 would be the first 4 outputs, and 4 would be the fifth. The fifth output gets tied to reset, and similar with any other divisor all the way up to 10. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Remember to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on social media. Until next time, thank you for watching.